Hey guys, uh, this video is for the pregnant ladies out there to um, know what modifications to do in a Pilates class for when you're pregnant and also uh, for my YouTube members so that you can do all my most of my other videos I have uploaded that are labeled prenatal friendly and you'll know how to um, modify. So here we go. Lying down on the back, flat, is good until about your belly starts to really show. Some women like to stop lying down completely on the back before then, so really up to you, you'll feel it out. Some, some women get lightheaded. So here's the fix. Lying down on the back, we're gonna use a wedge. This wedge is from Balance Body. I'll link it below in the description of the video. But you can also use pillows, just kind of stacking up some pillows so that when you lie down on your back, your heart is higher than your pelvis. All right, so ab curls is the uh, second thing to kind of watch out for. So I'm on one red spring here. So say the teacher is teaching or I am teaching the ab curl, an ab curl series where the arms, the hands are in the straps, legs are at a tabletop, and we're curling up, right? So first of all, you're gonna be on your wedge. Second, once the belly starts to show, that's what happens is the abdominals that run from north to south, they stretch out, they pull apart. So what we don't wanna do is curl the head and shoulders up. What that's gonna do is cause pressure on those abs to separate even more. Um, that, those abdominals, we're, they're not gonna be used for flexion anymore. What we wanna focus on is the core. So the core is made up of mainly two things you have to remember, pelvic floor and transverse abdominus, which is your deepest abdominal layer. We wanna activate that, those, when we're working the ab curl series and just core in general when we're working in Pilates. So arms are gonna be up. This is gonna be your modification. Keep your feet on the bar, first of all. Once your belly starts to get bigger, bring your legs to tabletop is a lot of pressure on hip flexors and belly. Not to mention, when you're on a wedge, it is harder to bring your legs and keep your legs up in tabletop. So keep your feet down. And what you're just gonna do is bring the arms down, keep your head down, and then bring the arms back up. And you can hear, it's a great exercise to really focus on your core activation. Think of drawing that navel up and in, which is your general cue for you. If you wanna be a little bit more specific, think of lifting up through the pelvic floor, scooping an imaginary blueberry in each hole and keep pulling those blueberries up and then gently hug your baby to you, towards you, towards your spine. <sighs> Exhale as the arms go down, inhale as the arms go up. I can't stress enough of, on the importance of breathing and core activation while pregnant. They're really good, really important. Now, you can also just bring one leg to tabletop and just keep it in tabletop. You can reach the leg out as the arms go down. Um, those are all great modifications. When you have your feet in, your, in straps and you're obviously on the wedge, we don't wanna let the legs go so low that you can't control that core strength anymore and the belly just kind of pushes up. Just go down as low with the legs as you can still feel your, your, feel your core engaged. Um, now, lying down on the belly, for obvious reasons, we stop doing that once you feel that your bump is getting a little bit more uh, bumpy. <laughs> um, I stopped early on, like in my first trimester, just because I felt very bloated and just did not feel good to be on my belly anymore. So just avoid, don't do all of those moves on the belly. Um, not that you would want to. Um, so all exercises that are working your side glutes, your side legs, your inner thighs, great. Those are awesome exercises to do while pregnant. Um, balance exercises, um, all are good. What I will say to that is if you're experiencing pubic symphysis discomfort or pain, um, I experienced it just couple times when I was pregnant, I was lucky I, I didn't get much else um, in the discomfort department, but um, it, it may hurt or just not feel great sometimes if like you're doing a lunge, so you're on one blue spring, 
and you're doing, you're in a lunge position, that parting of the legs, maybe may, you'll feel like discomfort in the pubic area. So what you want to do is either, so keeping your hands on your hips and just go down just a little bit and nice and slow and back up, not really going all the way down. You can also place your hands on the bar and just bend that right knee a little bit and straighten. You can keep your back leg bent and just hold it here, bend your right knee, hold it, and just think of pushing down on your right heel. So that will work that right glute. You've got, remember, you've got added weight to you too, so you're working harder than everybody else. Um, so that, same thing with the standing split series. When you're on the reformer and we're pressing out and in, if you have that pubic pain, just press out a little and back in. It could really, it could be an inch and back in. Um, what you also really need to focus on, and I add these in my, in most of my prenatal videos, is pelvic floor release. So important to do for everybody. So we, in Pilates, we talk a lot about pelvic floor engagement, but it's really important to find the release as well. So we'll do pelvic drops. What that is, is, and you can do it right now, sitting in whatever position is, feels good to you. You can lie down even on your back, but you're, you're gonna take a big inhale, and on the exhale, you're going to engage that pelvic floor, just like 25 or 40% of what you usually do to engage it, and then inhale, release the pelvic floor. Now keep it released as you exhale, and keep it released as you inhale. And we're going to do a few breath cycles like this. If at some point you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm engaging the pelvic floor or if I'm releasing it, then do that little 25, 40% pelvic floor engagement and then release it on the next exhale or inhale. Um, those are really, really uh, beneficial if you are planning on doing a vaginal birth, especially. Um, but just Overall, for everybody working on that release of the pelvic floor without pushing, right? We're not pushing down, we're just gently releasing, um, is important for the balance of your pelvic floor. We don't want a pelvic floor that's too tight. We don't want a pelvic floor that's too loose. Um, so anyways, I uh, hope this video helped you. For my YouTube members, in my videos that I have uploaded, in the description, in the description part, I did write if the video was prenatal friendly or not, but um, look at the notes because if they are prenatal friendly, sometimes it'll be after like a five, the five minute mark or uh, this is prenatal friendly except for this exercise. So really look at those notes. And again, that's just a general um, uh, just description of it. I don't know what your personal um, uh, journey is in your pregnancy, but in general, those are some good guidelines for you. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions or comments, comment below. Bye, you guys.